Like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Death toll rises as Storm Eunice wreaks havoc across Europe. Storm Eunice has ravaged Northern Europe, killing eight people, uprooting trees and shredding roofs, including parts of the Dome of London SO2 Arena. An Atlantic storm has battered northwestern European with record winds of up to 196 km per hour, killing at least eight people, knocking out power for tens of thousands and shredding the roof of London SO2 Arena. Storm Eunice, which brewed in the central Atlantic and was spun up from the Azores towards Europe by the jet stream, posed a danger to life, Britain's meteorological office says. The storm hit western England, making landfall in Cornwall where waves lashed the coast, sending plumes of spray over the roofs of cottages, Reuters pictures show. A woman was killed in London when a car in which she was travelling was crushed by a tree and a man in a vehicle in Liverpool died due to flying debris. Another man died after a vehicle collided with a fallen tree in the southern English county of Hampshire. In the Netherlands, three people were killed by toppled trees. In Belgium, High winds brought a crane down onto the roof of a hospital and a British man died after being blown from his boat into the water. A man died in Ireland after being struck by a falling tree while clearing storm debris, a TE reported. High winds in London shredded the white-domed roof of the O2 Arena, which has hosted stars from the Rolling Stones to Beyonce and Rihanna. Tall buildings in London trembled as wind whistled through Canary Wharf. In Wales, Waves crashed over Aberystwyth Promenade, some as high as houses. More than 100,000 people were hit by power cuts as lines were torn down and ancient trees keeled over. Storm Eunice is really packing a punch, Met Office Chief Meteorologist Frank Saunders said on Thursday. We only issue red weather warnings when we think there is a threat to life from the weather. The Met Office said a gust of 196 km per hour was recorded at the Needles on the Isle of Wight, provisionally a record for the most powerful gust ever recorded in England. Later on Friday, the Met Office said the fiercest winds from the storm were heading towards Scandinavia and northern mainland Europe, where warnings had been issued. Planes were buffeted so strongly by gusts at some British airports that pilots were forced to abandon landings. A total of 436 flights were cancelled across the United Kingdom, according to Sirium data. More than 100,000 buildings were left without power, distributors said. Ferries and trains were cancelled. Danish ferry operator DFDS said its ferries between Dover and Calais have been suspended due to high winds. In the Netherlands, Schiphol Airport cancelled about 390 flights, a spokesperson said. Britain's security minister, Damien Hines, said troops were on standby to deal with the consequences of the weather. We should all follow the advice and take precautions to keep safe, Prime Minister Boris Johnson said. I thank responders for all their efforts.